Hey, what's up everyone? I have another video today, kind of a first impression on a knife I just picked up. Uh, it's one I've been looking at for a while. And it is the Protec SBR. SBR stands for um, a short bladed rock eye. It is a, uh, a design by uh, a designer named Les George. There's, uh, there's multiple types of um, of SBR styles. Uh, this particular one, and of course it's an auto, um, they actually, Protec actually makes one that's a fixed blade, which is uh, pretty cool. It's a nice one, uh, but I wanted to have the um, the folding with the folder because it's a little more convenient for me. So let's take some measurements of this. Take you know, just a quick look. On the back uh, right here, you can see uh, it actually has um, the Les George um, mark on the back because uh, he's got to get credits. It's a cool design. And then on the front, we have ProTech USA. And then just above the handle, it is uh, S35VN. So this particular one is, um, let's see, I believe it has about a 3.6 inch handle. Let's check that out. Actually, you know what? It's a little bit longer. It's about uh, three and mm, almost three and seven eighths inches. So it's a pretty nice handle. I'm able to get uh, three fingers, like three fingers on pretty solidly and uh, my pinky like halfway, which isn't bad. Probably like, you know, slightly above average hands. So that's really not bad at all. I mean, it's a smaller knife, so really I can't complain. So, uh, about three and seven eighths inches over there and uh, for the blade we have let's see let's hold this up right here sorry about it being upside down it's a little more convenient for me so we have about two and seven eighths inches now where I live the uh, the laws state you can uh, conceal carry a three inch blade so when I go into the knife shop he says, how can I help you with today? And I tell him, I like something that's three inches or less. Lots of great stuff there, but realistically, uh, if I get it for more that, if I get something that's more than three inches, it's just kind of going to be something I use around the house and it's going to be a collector's piece. It's not something I can use. And this is definitely something I wanted to use. Uh, now this particular one, uh, because, like I said, they make the fixed blade versions. They just released a a, a natural G10 version. Uh, this particular one has the aluminum scales, just like all the uh, the other ones tend to have, which I like. Um, now, the problem with some of them is that they have a flat surface. I love Protec, but a lot of their knives, it seems like they release them with like this flat surface, which is okay, but it, it's a little slippery. There's not too much there. This one does have the textured surface, which I like quite a bit. Uh, besides the textured surface, uh, it also has uh, some jimping that you can see. You can see right in here. I'll show you a little closer. Um, I like that quite a bit. And then it has uh, some texture right in here, kind of where the uh, where the scales where the scales meet. So when you're using the knife, it actually you know your your index finger locks in really well right here, and then your thumb you know just kind of kind of goes right in there, just where it's where it's supposed to to uh, to make some nice precision cuts. Um, now, besides the uh, the textured uh, scale, it also has an acid washed blade. Now, I really wanted this knife. Uh, if they had blue, I probably would have gotten blue or another color. And if they had if they had like a polished blade, I would have gotten the polished blade. But I got to tell you, the acid washed finish is really growing on me. The more I look at it, it's pretty cool. He did have the black on black, but I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of tired of like a black on black knife. Uh, kind of kind of old. So uh, the acid wash is pretty cool. Now, I was also thinking that might have been kind of another name for stone washed, but it actually looks better than the stone washed, in my opinion. I'm, I'm kind of liking that that texture that uh, that's on it. It's, it's, it. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain, but it looks like it's like really worn and... It doesn't look like Damascus at all, but it kind of has like that, um, I don't know, like a, like a, like a weird uh, kind of like texture to it in a way that stonewashed wouldn't. Like stonewashed is kind of like just a uh, 
kind of like a flat constant finish whereas this one kind of has like some different colorations in it so it's, it's a little more interesting I don't know, especially now that I'm looking at it under this light, kind of has some bright white lights over my head, and I'm thinking, this is cool. I made a pretty good decision. Uh, so as you probably know, Protex have some pretty awesome actions. Very snappy. I like that. And um, if you look at that texture, very cool texture. Now, if I had to... Oh, another good thing I'd like to tell you, point out to you is, uh, is that pocket clip. I'm loving the pocket clip because of a couple of reasons. Number one, if you look, the uh, it's recessed into the uh, the handle, which is nice, doesn't catch or anything. It is a deep carry pocket clip. And the other thing, if you notice, is this this little ledge kind of comes over. So yeah, right there, that's a better angle for you to see. But that little edge comes over, so it goes on your pant pocket very easy, but it doesn't stick out to kind of catch on stuff. You know, recently I did a video of the Civivi Altus, and I love the Civivi Altus. But that clip is really bugging me because instead of coming flat over over here, it goes straight up and it's kind of like catches on stuff sometimes. This one's not going to catch on anything because it kind of goes flat. Now, as far as, uh, as like, you know, the, the, the way that the knife holds, and as you could tell, I still, you know, holding on, I got a little bit uh, room on to the right of the pinky, which is nice. The only knock I have on it, which I would have liked to have seen, is texturing on the back i actually would have liked that even if there was just like one panel right here i like i think that would have been really cool because um i mean the texturing the texturing on this side's great no complaints there uh i love the jimping it's very aggressive jimping like that quite a bit um then it has the little bit of a, a little bit right there where where it's joined so you get a little bit more grab right there but it's flat on the back i would have liked to see a little bit of uh Texturing on the back. Again, that's nitpicking. So, I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm. I'm really happy I got this. Now, this particular knife, uh, I think the MSRP on them is like two seventy or two eighty. I bought it for two ten. Um, I mean, they they kind of go in all different directions because you know the way ProTech is. They'll they'll put you know fancy inlays and. Uh, and different steels and Damascus and engraving and all kinds of cool stuff. And the price will end up shooting up on some of their, you know, one-offs and special series and stuff. But this was $210. Um, usually they charge more for textured. I don't know if he had a plain one there. And if honestly, if he did, I wouldn't have bought it because I like the, the texture. And I noticed that when I bought my Runt... Uh, he had the, he gave me one that was textured and it was 160. And he, he said, I also have this one that's not textured and that was 150. Let me tell you something, especially with a small ProTech that's an auto, you want the texturing and especially for only $10. I probably would have paid 20 or 30 more just to have it textured because you want something that you can hold on to. And the texturing is very helpful. I like the texturing. Um, now with my Malibu, uh, that's the only the only thing I don't like about the Malibu is it's it's very um, it's very very flat, almost kind of like a, I don't want to say slippery, but um, you don't get the same purchase that you would get on the Runt or the SBR, which is funny because it's it's a large knife, or a large handled knife compared to these. Uh, and now of course they're coming out with the textured Malibus, and I, from what I'm reading, it's a lot more than ten bucks per knife uh, to get the texturing. So. Uh, maybe that's something I'd pick up down the road. For now, pretty happy with my ProTech. Um, and then for a little background, I went in there and he had uh, he had the ProTech since we got, he had the you know the black and uh, with the black blade. I was also checking out the new ports. He had uh, he had a really nice new port. It was a, a nice shade of blue uh, aluminum scale. Again, it was not textured and uh, really nice polished blade very sharp knife no pun intended no you know what yeah pun is intended it was a sharp knife and then uh, he had a calmigo the calmigo is pretty awesome uh from what i can tell it looks like it it looks a lot like the runt if you're not familiar with it but it's got a slightly longer handle like maybe a quarter of an inch third of an inch uh it has a safety on it uh similar blade profile um of late length, I should say, the profiles the, of the one he had was a little different than mine. Mine's, uh, I believe, a Warncliffe. The one they had there was uh, like a drop point. Uh, and then they had this really, really um, nice uh, vintage flag, um, vintage U.S. flag uh, scales on it. It was really, really cool. 
and uh, I wasn't sure what to get. So, but I ended up getting this one because it, it just seems like more like a tougher knife, like for everyday carry. Um, I really like the fact that uh, that the blade profile right here. I mean, it's a little thicker. It's uh, let's see, it's a little over an inch, like maybe yeah, a little over an inch wide this way, whereas the uh, the new pour is a little a little more dainty uh, in that regard. Whereas this one's a little over an inch. That one's like maybe three quarters of an inch. And uh, the knife, the, the blade looks like it's a lot longer because it's a very slender, uh, very sharp, pointy blade if you haven't seen it. And then then he, he said, when he brought it, he goes, yeah, he goes, you know, this one's more like an everyday kind of knife and the other one's more of a gentleman's knife. And then I just kind of pictured it as something someone's pulling out of their inside pocket of their sport coat from Brooks Brothers. And then I'm thinking, yeah, that's not me. I'm getting this baby. So... That's why I picked this up. Uh, and again, this is the Protec SBR Short Bladed Rock Eye, and it is a Les George design. If you are at all interested in these, uh, I would definitely check out some online stores. It's a little tough to get at some of them. I'm like, you, you know, with some of these, I noticed like Blade HQ might not have them, but then like Knife Center might or, or uh, DLT training. I tend to like to stay towards uh stay with uh licensed pro tech dealers uh and by the way my advice to you is that if you're going to buy something like this please buy it from a licensed pro tech dealer go to the like if you have a local person who sells go online um to pro tech's website and they have a list of authorized dealers go with those people just so you know that what you're getting is 100 percent uh 100 percent legit you know you don't want to take any chances he was he's also a chris reeve dealer he was telling me some horror stories about people who get good deals on chris reeve knives and the prices are so fair because they're fake so i don't want that happening to you or anyone i know all right have a good one guys i'll talk to you later